Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with a new horror suspense teen movie Fear Street Part 1, 1994, which takes place in bordering towns Sunnyvale and Shadyside, there was a stark difference between both the towns, Shadyside is infamously known for different murders across decades that made people believe that the town Shadyside is cursed. There was folklore that there was a woman named Sarah Athayar was hanged in Shadyside for practicing witchcraft. People believe that it was her curse that led Shadyside to the land of forsaken hope and there are a series of brutal slayings where teenagers go mad by killing people. Which happens very usually in Shadyside. While the people of Sunnyvale believe themselves to be superior and look down upon Shadyside. The movie takes place. In Shadyside Mall where a mall worker named Heather is closing up shop when she is frightened by her friend Ryan. Then the rest of scene is spent with Heather being chased and killed by a villain in a skeleton mask which later turned out to be her friend Ryan, where he is killed by the sheriff of that town Nick Good. In the next scene, we see a teenage girl named Dina calling her brother Josh who is texting someone on the computer about the mall massacre how Sarah F.I.E.R. the witch was behind it. But Dina never believed in Sarah F.I.E.R.'s stories. However, her brother was a geek who made conspiracy theories with his online friends having pretentious pseudonyms. That is when Josh is interrupted by her sister Dina and was told not to use the internet. While he defended himself that he was discussing about the mall killings, how Sarah F.I.E.R. was the one behind it while Dina ordered him to get in the car. He told Dina to stop obsessing about Sam. Sam was Dina's ex-girlfriend who moved to Sunnyvale after her parents' divorce and started dating a football player. Next scene takes place in Dina's college, where we can see Dina's friends, Simon and Kate, while Dina asked Kate to give a box to Sam while Kate refused to give it. A football match is being held between Sunnyvale team and Shadyside team where people from both towns gather for a night vigil. While Sam met Dina when she was alone heartbroken as she saw Sam with her new boyfriend Peter, and Sam told that Dina was the one who called off the relation as she moved to Sunnyvale, which wasn't her mistake. Then a fight breaks out between the people from both towns. Samantha and her snooty boyfriend Peter, who was the cause of the fight as he called out incidents happening as non-tragedies as incidents happen every day, meet in an accident while chasing Dina and her friends in a car. That's when Sam sees Sarah F.I.E.R. in a hallucinatory vision. While Dina came to help her, Sam vomited blood on Simon's t-shirt. Then police came and took Sam to hospital while Sheriff Nick Good inquired everyone about the incident and everyone said that it was an accident. Next scene takes place at Dina's house where she called to the hospital to inquire about Sam while Sam mom told to leave her alone, that she will be fine without you. Suddenly the doorbell rings. There is no one out. But there is a mask man standing near their house, same mask man from the mall killings. Dina saw the mask man from a window and thought that someone from Sunnyvale is pranking her. The mask man disappears asterisk. In the next scene, Kate is babysitting in a house while Simon is watching TV and he is also wearing the same t-shirt on which Sam vomited. Simon removed the t-shirt. While Dina called Kate and said that Sam's boyfriend was messing around her house wearing a skull mask. Kate cuts asterisk Dina's call. Suddenly someone broke into the house. As everyone thinks it is the skull mask man and stabbed Simon's t-shirt on which Sam vomited which he removed earlier. While Simon wore it again, Kate and Simon went to Dennis' place where they decided to tell Sam to keep her boyfriend in check as he was pranking on them. They went to the hospital where the same masked man appeared and stabbed Peter while Sam and Dina are arguing, we came to know that Peter is not the masked man. Everyone starts running as they saw the masked man while Sam and Dina are being chased. They hid under the reception while the masked man killed the doctor they tried to escape. Suddenly the mask came off and turned out he was Ryan one who went mad at the mall and killed Heather later killed by Sheriff Good, but he was after them. Then Dina and Sam with Simon, Kate and Josh took an ambulance and went to the police station to report about the killings, that they are chased by the masked man whose mask came off and he is none other but Ryan who was supposed to be dead as he was shot by Nick Good in the head. But the sheriff thought they are lying as he shot Ryan Torres in the head. While the police station got a call from the hospital and the woman on the call is terrified. Sheriff Good asked the other officer to take Dina and Sam under custody. While Dina protested and left the station. Dina also stole the gun from the officer while protesting to protect themselves. While at the ambulance Kate, Josh and Simon are discussing the killings. Simon went to take a leak. 
where he saw a woman on the street singing a song in the most creepy way, while Simon approached her and asked if she needs a help. The woman lifted her face and has two scars on her face. She took a razor blade and cut Simon's leg. While Dina and Sam came to Kate and Josh at the ambulance, Dina told that everyone need to leave. While Sam told that staying near the police station will protect them from the killer. While Dina showed everyone the gun she has stolen from the officer, everyone freaked out as she stole a cop's gun. While the killer woman on the street tried to kill Simon holding a razor blade to his throat while Simon was protecting himself, the woman raised her knife to stab him. The killer woman was shot from the back by Dina with the gun she took from the officer. They all started running, but rather than being dead the woman started to move again and started with her singing again. Everyone went to Dina's house where they discussed why the bullets didn't stop her. And she also bled black blood. Simon told everyone that she attacked him with a razor blade. While Josh asked Simon, was she singing an old song or something? Simon told that she was singing Rain Man, he also asked Josh how he know about that. Then Josh got a paper cutting on which there is the picture of the killer woman whose name is Ruby Lane. She sang as she murdered her boyfriend. And then her friends and finally she killed herself by slashing her wrists. And all that happened 30 years ago. In 1965. While in 1978, 16 years ago a masked psycho murdered kids at Camp Nightwing. 1950 Harry Rooker, he is a local milkman who slashed a bunch of housewives. 1935 Humpty Dumpty Killer. 922, Billy Barker. While the first killer that was ever recorded was Pastor Cyrus Miller 1666, he killed kids and cut out their eyes. He also said that such killings happen in Shadyside over and over again. And he also said that none of the things were random. All these killings took place as Sarah Fear the Witch made people go mad and kill others. Sarah Afiyar was hanged for witchcraft in 1666, ever since she was executed she's been possessing people, turning them into killers so she can take revenge on the town for hanging her. There was an old nursery rhythm that goes like this, before the witch's final breath, she found a way to cheat her death, by cutting OFF her cursed hand, she kept her grip on land. She reaches from beyond her grave, T.O. make good men her wicked slaves. Finally, they figured out that all these massacres are connected to Sarah F.I.E.R. While Sam ran into the kitchen where she vomited blood. But what happened to Dina, Sam, Kate, Simon, and Josh was way far different from all those other massacres. While Sam told everyone that she saw her, the witch, when she hit her head in the accident. They all went to the accident scene, where Sam hit her head. There was all red moss on the ground while Sam felt something and grabbed it out. Turned out they are metal chains and a dead body. On the lock of the chains, it was written F-I-E-R. They found Sarah Fear's grave. They thought that Sam disturbed her grave which pissed the witch and she is sending her henchmen, all those killers from the past who were possessed by Sarah F-I-E-R, to kill everyone for disturbing her grave. They wanted to undo what they have done. They started to dig out her bones, while Sam's nose bled again and had a vision of Sarah F.I.E.R. and her hanging scene. And a voice said it's you to Sam. They again reburied her. While Josh figured out that there is someone in the wood who turned out to masked psycho killer from the Camp Nightwing 1978. Everyone started running while Sam was still in a trance with a voice saying it's you. Dina grabbed Sam and they drove the ambulance away from the killer. In the ambulance, they figured out that the killers are not coming after everyone but only after Sam. She told everyone that the witch wants her, as she is the one who disturbed her grave. Later they figured out all the killers were after Sam. The skull mask came after the t-shirt that has Sam's blood on. Ruby tried to kill Simon because he is wearing the same t-shirt. While Nightwing Killer 2 went after Sam not bothering about others. They also went after Dina because she has Sam's blood on her shoe. Then all of them thought of a plan. They all went to Shadyside High School. All of them changed into other clothes as they are not supposed to have Sam's blood on the. While Sam apologized to Dina as she has given up on her. Then they had their moment together. Suddenly they heard a sound. They all met in the hallway. And started to execute their plan of setting a bait for the killers as they are after Sam's blood. The killers go after Sam's blood so they took some of Sam's blood and made a trap with by making blood lanes with his blood. Every blood track leading into the same bathroom which is filled with petroleum tins while Sam hid in one of the bathrooms. All the killers went into the washroom, while Sam escaped from the ventilator. 
the killers are in the bathroom. Then they lit the fire. Asterisk killers shouting asterisk. Everyone went into the washroom where they saw black meat reforming itself again into killer's shape. They ran away. Everyone told that Sam should go as to save her they can't risk their life except Anna. Sam laughed. Then Josh figured out C. Berman is the key to stop this as she is the only one who escaped the Nightwing camp killings. They brought Sam back from getting killed by the Mask Man. C. Berman also saw the witch, but she survived. They called Berman, but she doesn't pick. They left a voice note to her about the killers. While the Mask Man is breaking the door with his axe. But from the paper clippings, they came to know that C. Berman had died, but then somehow resurrected, and that's how she escaped from the witch. So they figured out how to save Sam. Same of Berman who survived by dying. Then they took the ambulance and left to a general store. Meanwhile Nick Good went to a house and left a note saying it's happening again through letter pass. In the general store. There they planned where Sam takes five piles of medicine which eventually stops her heart. Then they can bring her back to life by stabbing her with EPI pens which is adrenaline. Then they took Sam's blood and marked on everyone except Dena so the killers will be distracted while Sam can take the pills and stop her heart and Dina could bring her back to life using the AP pens. Simon plans on splitting up. Kate, Josh and Simon moves in different directions in the general store. While Dina convinced Sam on taking the pills and asked Sam to trust her and also told Sam that when all of this is over Dina would take her on a date. Then Sam started to take the piles. She started to vomit while the mask man from the mall tries to attack them. Kate came for the rescue, using spray and fire. Kate ran and hid. The mask man attacked Kate from behind and stabbed her in the stomach and put her head through a paper cutter and her head was cut into pieces. The mask man from Nightwing Camp killed Simon by smashing his axe on Simon's head. Josh on seeing that ran away. While Dina pushes Sam's head inside a water container until her heart almost stopped beating while Josh was being chased by the killers. Sam's heart stops. The killers vanished. Then Dina gives Sam her cardiac thump to bring her back to life. After many tries Sam came back to life. Then, Dina, Sam and Josh make their way home. The police interrogate all of them. And the story that comes out is that Simon and Kate were responsible for it as nobody would believe the dead woman was orchestrating it. Back home, Dina gets a call and she is shocked to hear the voice of C. Berman, the only one survivor from the Nightwing camp. In an eerie tone, she tells Dina that it's never really over. That's when Sam stabs Dina from behind. What they thought to be the end was the emergence of a new chapter that had the potential of changing their world and bringing it upside down.